Hi, this is your host Abdul Bhartia and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us once again Rahul Padbardhan, Head of Growth at Loft Labs. Rahul, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Sapna. Tell us a bit about what is DevSpace? DevSpace is a developer tool and it is developed by Loft Labs and it makes your Kubernetes development very, very easy, gives developers very nice experience with a lot of features and we can dive into some of those but basically it's a developer tool to make your kubernetes development easy yes i will uh, love to go in detail but i am also curious that if you look at the cncf cloud native kubernetes ecosystem it's a crowded space there are a lot of tools similar to dev space talk a bit about uh, first of all loft lab you folks do almost everything open source or everything open source but what are the reasons where you see that there were the tools that are still there there were some gaps or overlaps that you felt that hey we need dev space there are more than 50 tools if you look at the overall landscape but if you look at the cncf sandbox i think there are very few like one or two which are like properly contributed donated and that's why we saw like a lot of white space And the other thing is CNCF mission, if you look at it, uh, basically making the cloud native computing ubiquitous. And we want to be part of that mission and we want to empower developers and that's why we we donate it. But uh, but you are right, there are a number of tools, uh, but if you look at it, not all of them are accepted. So I think dev space can be like maybe second or third of those tools. And CNCF is a place where most of these projects go and of course putting a project in a neutral body like CNCF helps exactly. kind of enforce uh, confidence that you don't have to worry about a company changing the license tomorrow or doesn't may not have enough uh, developer resource. But once again, before we talk a bit about uh, CNCF and your contribution to CNCF, um, talk a bit about, because you folks do a lot of open source you have a lot of other open source projects as well. Talk a bit about how much influence or how much, you know, as you said, you wanted to go a bit deeper into the features. Uh, were there that dev space kind of borrowed or was inspired for some of those other Loft projects as well? So the point is talk about the features, but also talk about the inspiration from other Loft projects there. So I will say dev space was the first project Loft started with. And then we moved to vCluster. So vCluster is the virtual clusters on top of Kubernetes, which is also open source, and DevSpace. So those are our main or important projects. Uh, And what we are seeing in the market with the macroeconomics right now is like everybody is all about efficiency, whether it's utilizing your resources, utilizing your money. So that's where vCluster comes into picture. So you don't need to deploy a lot of... uh, clusters from AWS or whatever service you're using. And vCluster makes that um, very economical, but then you also need to have, or look at the other angle, which is the developer experience and developer efficiency. So it's not just about the clusters you are spinning up and saving the cost there, but at the same time, what dev space kind of like, it complements the vCluster and it, it's a part of our loft commercial offering as well is that developer experience. So any developer can take uh, DevSpace just with a single command, devspace.yamo. It configures whatever services, whatever your Kubernetes configuration is there with just one single command and you're up and running. You don't need to worry about like what cluster you're using, what kind of configuration, storage, networking is there. It all takes into consideration and devspace.yamo command does that. And then the developers start working on their own computer the way they code, like local coding. So basically it takes away the pain of all the the day two, the backend, the storage, networking. And at the same time, as I said uh, previously, the vCluster. So DevSpace gives that really nice experience to the developers, fast development, remote development, and vCluster on top of that is more, more economical for your Kubernetes. So that's kind of the landscape and you can use both of our projects because like they are open source, totally free, uh, but they are part of the Loft commercial offerings, which has more more functionality to it. Excellent, Uh, thanks for explaining that. Now let's talk about uh, the contribution to CNCF. You already touched upon that. We already know the advantages of that. We touched upon that, but talk a bit about 
when, as you said, this project predates V cluster actually. Uh, so talk a bit about when you made the decision that, hey, let's put this in CF, CNCF, what was the reason driver behind it? Till now, uh, like almost thousands of companies are using DevSpace, maybe some small, some are the bigs. Uh, and till now, more than a million times, DevSpace has been installed and we have 3,200 GitHub stars. So basically all the development was going on. We were getting the feedback from the developer community. Companies were using it. And now uh, it's much more mature. It, it's much more stable. And now what we want is this to get into hands of enterprises. Maybe they will use it in production. And no other space than CNCF or Linux Foundation to put the governance on top of it, make sure that everything is right. And it's totally free, totally open to use and uh, using dev space or even the other projects uh, we don't know like these big companies uh, will come up with some ideas on top of it and that that's why basically we decided to uh, contribute donate whatever you want to call it uh, and help even large companies as well as the small companies perfect and now also talk about you know when we see a lot of open source projects especially when we look at these kind of neutral foundation, when you contribute a project uh, to the foundation, not like, hey, you have washed your hands or you're done. Uh, companies are actively, they actually want to grow the community around those projects. They want to create a platform which is kind of vendor neutral. So even your competitors can feel confident and come and use and contribute to the project. But talk about what will be your engagement with the project once it becomes part of CNCF? We want to be the main contributor for dev space we want to keep contributing and there are already plans to to uh, release the next versions next set of features all all this is already in plan uh, and we want to make sure that we serve and help as many developers as many companies as we can via this contribution so it's not just that we are like oh this is it this is dev space do whatever you want like it's it's in your hands not that kind of thing we are behind it we have a great community we have a slack channel so we listen to our users we work on it and we we plan our product roadmap based on that since you talk about the product roadmap i also want to understand the relationship which is also very critical to the health and sustainability of open source is commercial support behind these projects a lot of companies they can afford to have the in-house developers team who can manage and maintain these projects a lot of companies dip irrespective of whether they're big or small, they don't want to do that. They want someone else to take care of that. They want one throat to choke. So talk a bit about the importance of commercialization. And then as you earlier mentioned, it's also part of your product, the, the commercial angle of dev space as well, so that folks do have the confidence, hey, you know what, if I do want, there's a company where I go to for support or additional features. Block Lab is going to be the main contributor. Of course, like we welcome any kind of feedback, any kind of features, that's, that's all great. But, uh, as I said before, the Loft commercial product, it's it's kind of like uh, made up of various open source projects like vCluster, DevSpace, JS Policy, Kiosk, and they are complementary to each other. So uh, our commercial product provides like integration, automation, a very nice UI. And, it, and it's very simple in terms of uh, whether you talk about the SSO feature, whether you talk about like our sleep mode where you can save a lot of money, putting like a, think of it like a thermostat for your Kubernetes or your infrastructure. So we are not going to go away because these features are really, really important for our customers. And they are giving us that feedback that, oh, like we, we use these things daily and we use vCluster to save cost of the actual clusters. We use dev space because our Developers absolutely love us. This is a quote from one of our customers. And uh, some customers went actually from zero to Kubernetes with less than two months, within, within less than two months. So it's not just people who are already using Kubernetes. We also help people who are not using Kubernetes to get on Kubernetes. And that's kind of like a, a big market, uh, a lot of good value proposition for a lot of bigger companies, smaller companies. Uh, and because of that, even though we are like the main contributor, we have the commercial part. We are not going to go away. 
we have 40 paying customers. Some of them are Fortune 100. So uh, I want to make sure that all those who are listening, uh, that they understand that we are well-funded. Uh, it's a small team. Uh, even though we contribute to the open source, there is a real company, real commercial behind this. Talk a bit about the importance or role of dev space, not just in the CNCF landscape, but the larger cloud native Kubernetes ecosystem as well. If you take like three different buckets of various Kubernetes, let's say providers, uh, dev tools, and deployment options, uh, loft or dev space, we are not into Kubernetes deployment. The ranchers of the world, let's say even AWSs of the world, they do a good job at that. And then the other part is, let's say the developer tools, which kind of like they, they create some environments, uh, they are good at that. But what Loft and specifically DevSpace provides is kind of like a good partnership or good kind of segue into that developer experience. So you can use your Minikube uh, as a cluster, you can use AWS as a cluster deployment and whatever infrastructure or whatever platform stack or whatever workloads you have. But DevSpace sits kind of in between to give your developers that great experience. So it, it really fits into the Kubernetes landscape where you can use whatever deployment providers you have, you can use whatever the, the platform stack or workloads you have and DevSpace kind of sits in between to connect to all these things and automatic configuration, the storage, the networking. So the developers no need to worry about like all of these things. They just write one command, it's up and running. It's it's uh, because of hot, roll, hot reloading, you can um, deploy the code uh, during the runtime directly to the container. Of course, bringing dev space into CNCF you know, project helps a lot of, you know, lot with the CNCF community, but what are the benefits that are there for Loft by putting a project in CNCF? The most important benefit is we are part of this mission. Our Both the founders, the company culture is rooted in technology, and we want every company, every developer to succeed with technology. So the main thing is making sure that uh, we are moving this mission of CNCF forward. So that's the one thing. The second part, which, which is kind of selfish, that Loft is a, ultimately a commercial product. So this open source gives us a lot of good feedback from the community so that we can use that feedback and utilize that in the commercial side that, oh, you know what, like these kind of things are really important for like very... High, highly scaled enterprises, whether it's financial services, whether it's healthcare, whether it's um, uh, any kind of regulated industry. Just giving an example. But we get that feedback, we put that in the commercial, as well as, of course, open source, we, we are the main contributors. Uh, so it helps in both ways, making sure that uh, we help in the mission of the CNCF, we help the developer the uh, better experience. Uh, and from the commercial side, we also make money, which is, uh, which is the ultimate uh, for Loft. One of the other benefits uh, Loft sees in contributing dev space uh, to CNCF is CNCF as a third party and very independent body. They have a charter, they have a mission, they have a very, very transparent process. So just to give you an example, if you go to YouTube and look at the latest meeting they had for the sandbox contributions, you will see that they are talking about features. They are talking about the future of various tools, how this fits into the ecosystem and how it's going to provide value, not just the CNCF community, but of course, like any developer in the world. And this gives us a, like, as a loft lab or any other company, any other developer in the world, so much confidence that the process is transparent, it's, it's going through very a, a, a democratic way, and uh, it's all based on merit. It's not just influenced by any company because of money or anything else. Rahul, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about uh, the contribution of DevSpace to CNCF, the benefits that are there. Uh, 
it's like a very you know a perfect example of symbiotic relationship the companies who put their projects into open source communities and they benefit back because instead of like Loft developers now, the whole worldwide community is now getting involved with the project, making it better and better. So thanks thank for sharing so. all those insights and I would love to chat with you again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sopnil. I'd love to chat with you again soon.